Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play Manhunt Part 15, I believe. In the last episode, we got our ass handed to us by a bunch of SWAT boys with shotguns and Uzis, and it was, it was not a good time, but we prevailed through trial and tribulation and pure, unadulterated, masculine skill. We done went and uh, beat those guys. So what have you been up to, ladies and gentlemen? Been Hanging out, having fun, playing Manhunt. Been waiting for me to get back here and play Manhunt. Well, I'm happy to be here. Should have a bad feeling about it. I'm gonna be kind of reckless now that we've reached a thingy. It's like sometimes the targeting is extremely spot on. Extremely like, you could be turned around and Cash will still spot a guy but most of the time he, he can't he won't oh, yeah this, this is a disaster yeah I'm gonna get out of here <laughs> thank you gentlemen I appreciate it have fun that's what I'm thinking yes. oh dude see like that right there like as soon as I hit uh, L1 cash just didn't even like he he shot towards the camera. I don't I don't understand game your logic and why. It's alright. I really don't want to use all the Uzi ammo because it's it is very useful. It is it, it seems to like sh shoot a lot faster than the uh, the shotgun, which is <laughs> Necessary. So I gotta tell you guys a story, but I don't, I don't really know how to do it. Um, oh, okay, this works. This works. This works. This is a bad situation for anyone coming through this door. I like it. As soon as somebody turns their eyes. Oh, there's three of them. Oh, jeez. I tell you what. Okay, we're gonna do this. Mm. Whoever you are, come out into the open. Oh, okay. Come on. Come on. You know you want to. Come on, big boy. Probably wants his medication. All right, now that I know where you are, you know where I am. It's just a matter of you coming through that door, and we can end it. Oh. You tease, I swear. Come on, just just touch the door, just touch it. That's all you gotta do. He's got us pinned down. I've got you pinned down. I mean, it's kind of true. Odds are, I'm I'm gonna be the one that walks away from this, but I'm not the one that has however many X amount of guns trained on me. So I didn't mean to do that. I, I didn't mean to do that. Um. So I used to be good friends with this girl, right? And make a long story short, she she totally went Hollywood on me, quite literally. And, you know, I'm happy for her, and I want her to be happy. Her career and everything she does. But she's, she's completely a different person. And uh, I just can't relate to her at all whatsoever. I guess that's how it gets when you get older. The, the people that aren't necessary just kind of fall away. Um, and that's okay. I'm not upset about it. But what's... I mean, I've said goodbye to friends before, so I understand. But what really gets me is, uh, <laughs> she, she, she posts like all these inspirational things, like how proud of herself she is and everybody else is like validating her feelings, which is fine. I mean, you do what you got to do to be happy, but it's so funny because that's what so many people do on Facebook is just like inspirational quotes and so proud. So I've decided taking it upon myself to, uh, I'm going to do the same thing, and they usually include like a picture with it, like some beautiful scenery or something like that. I'm going to start posting inspirational things, and I'm just going to put pictures of everyday normal objects and say things like, I work so hard to get where I'm at, and I wouldn't trade it for a minute, and I, reg you know, I don't regret anything. You know, kind of elaborate on it, make it big, and then have like a picture of a toothbrush or something, or a picture of my car tire, like that. 
Like, I, I can't. I was thinking about it. Like, I read a few quotes this morning uh, from this website, and I thought, you know, if I put that with, <laughs> with like, a picture of a toothbrush, it would be the best thing in the world. I mean, it'd make me laugh. And I just wonder how many people would get it and how many people wouldn't get it. Dude, I don't want to use the... Let's try this Glock out, man. This light handgun. I didn't know there was such a thing as heavy handguns. So, she, I mean, she really inspired me through her success story to, you know, do something worthwhile in my life. So, I guess that's... The, that's the biggest compliment I can give her. Her inspirational quotes have inspired me to do inspirational quotes, but for different reasons. So I, I can't wait to do that. I'm excited to see how people are going to respond. Honestly, since I got my Facebook back, I, I haven't posted hardly anything. I just don't have a whole lot to say. I'd rather not have a flashlight if I can help it. Um... The only thing I have on, on my story on Facebook is the year I was born. Cause I don't, I mean, I don't have really anything to say. But now, man, <laughs> now I got quite a bit to say. So I'm pretty excited to start doing that. It'll make me laugh. Hopefully, make somebody else laugh. Somebody will understand what I'm trying to do here, and will hopefully appreciate it. Cause screw them, right? <laughs> who, who needs them? I need some painkillers, boy. This is a problem. It's like that, that one episode with a, it's like a G mod of Left 4 Dead. He's like, I need painkillers. You got money for painkillers? Just pick up the phone. <laughs> oh, dang. How am I going to get this guy? He's going to get me before I get him. It's like, no, no health, man. They got no, ain't no love in the heart of the city, man. Ain't no love in the heart of town. Got to get back to doing, uh, Jeez, I guess I was going to take this light handgun. I have to. <laughs> Dude, I... <laughs> that was just the funny... It was the first thing I thought of this morning when I woke up. Or it was the first thing I saw. She, like, posted something. Just, you know, she's so proud of herself and everybody just validating her. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to do the exact same thing and see how many people va <laughs> validate me. <laughs> oh, man. What? Locked. At least we got some painkillers. That's good. All right. Oh my God. Well, that. Jeez. What were you supposed to do in that situation? By the way, what what was what was the option? What was the winning option there? It is like storming like crazy outside. I guess there was no winning option. Like you just have to get past the shotgun guy that's completely got you pinned down. Oh boy. Is it time for this already? Oh my goodness. I guess it's technically the second boss of the game. Train to kill. Ooh. So this is apparently where it's kind of well, as if this game wasn't weird enough as it is. Um, kind of gets turned up a little bit with with the introduction of that character, and I don't really know what to expect here, and I'm a little bit nervous. When we get back to like the old school kind of way we were doing this before, this stealth kills. Oh, I guess not. Okay. All right. Thank you, game, for clar clarifying that. I, I appreciate that. Where's my shotgun? I love how the game gives you a wire. Like, oh, things are about to get back to normal. Nope. Dead. I got. I might, I might want to use the light handgun for this. Give me some help over here. That shotgun. I mean, the shotgun is very valuable and very uh, 
useful. It's basically a one-shot. Which in this game, means a lot. I think I have more bullets here with the... I didn't mean to do that, sorry. Have more bullets with the uh, revolvers here. Dude, the game just totally played me for a fool right then, man. <laughs> totally just played me. Come on, guys. What do I gotta do? There's a guy below me and a guy above me. What if those are the only two dudes? Oh, you can. Okay. All right. Well, that changes things up a little bit. All right. I can, uh, all right. I, I'll, I'll play ball. I will, uh, I will participate in the free aim now. I, I will try to, uh, get that skill, uh, worked out. What is that? More wire? Yeah. It's not like we're going to get to use it. It's all coming back to me, man. It's all coming back to me. Just like Boomerang. Who remembers that show? You're awesome. Actually, does anybody remember the show Bonsai? I missed that show so bad. I remember the late night uh, cable days back when I was younger. I remember staying up to see like some of the more you know adult content type deal stuff. But alongside that stuff was one of the most amazing game shows called bonsai and nobody remembers it at all i can't find any videos of it online and it's just like it's one of the coolest shows one of the funniest shows ever and it was along the uh the lines of oh man what was that most extreme games does anybody remember that one too Dude, like so, some of these shows, man, that were so good back in the day. Like now, nowadays, it's like we don't have anything like that. We had like the funniest commentator stuff, some of the funniest. Oh, Cash, can you please just cooperate with me? Please. You got 15 bullets in this gun. I honestly have no idea where I'm supposed to go. There's like three different branching paths here, and I'm a little bit lost. Can can you help me find the bad guys? <laughs> can you? <laughs> I'm the sheriff around these parts. Can you help me find them? <laughs> oh damn! Such a loser. Did I got hang up my brother the other day. He came over and we beat Pokemon Snap. We haven't done that since probably 1998, 1999, whenever it came out. It's 30 years for me and him to get back together and play that game again. And he was supposed to come over last Saturday and we were going to beat Resident Evil 4 on the GameCube. But, uh, but he did not. He had uh, more important things to do. I really like this movie. Hang women, right? What is that? Shotgun shells? I'll take it. Oh, no, ammo clip. Yes! Now we can get jiggy with some Uzis. I'm down. Right, so that is everything there. Let's uh, kindly and graciously uh, we'll figure out where the hell we gotta go now. Been meaning to watch Young Frankenstein. I miss that movie so bad sometimes. Which Mel Brooks... One of the last movie Mel Brooks made was uh, Dracula Dead and Loving It. And it was a it was a really good movie, but apparently it like bombed at the box office. I think it came out when I was three or four or something like that. So I don't really remember it. But I've, I've seen it since. And I mean, Leslie Nielsen's in it, man. I mean, it's funny. It's classic slapstick stuff. I don't know... 
why that would be a an issue, you know. Probably can't. I probably need that crowbar, right? Or can I just... I mean, there's no way but the hard way, right? So you might as well. Let's say it doesn't make a whole lot of sense if... Uh, If you can use an Uzi, or I mean, what's the difference in like shooting a lock off and using a crowbar? I know some games are really meticulous like that, where you gotta have this specific item in order to do the thing with the stuff. I like how this game doesn't. That makes me happy. Makes me happy. Where's Goldeneye, by the way? You know, there's always been that thing with this channel where like we'll do something and then something interesting will happen with that game. I think it happened with Kingdoms of Amalar, and it happened with some other game where, like, some news came out or some new thing happened with that game, whatever game we were playing. So, by that logic and by that standard, if we were to do a Let's Play of Goldeneye, there's a chance that it would finally come out. So, I kind of want to go ahead and do that. Just, like, kind of skip around, skip back to the... Oh, jeez. Oh, that is stupid. That is stupid. Oh my god. That is stupid, man. Well, that's what I've planned on my entire life. Just waiting for uh, whatever record label to call and I'll hit the road, man. I want to keep the Uzi, but you know, these bullets just sitting around, I might need them. I think that's everybody. But there's been some serious developments in GoldenEye since I've been away, too. That's something else I've been needing to talk about. Uh, apparently, two people in the world now have all the achievements on Xbox, which is interesting, to say the least. And, uh, what is that? Can? Which, I mean, first of all, it leaked on PC, right? Which is a big deal. That pretty much solidified its release, in my opinion. Like, there's people that already have it, so you might as well just try to force it into existence. Excuse me? Hit the wrong button again. No shotgun, no shotgun, no shotgun. No. Reload, reload! Dude, what is going on here? Reload the gun, Cash. I have to go, I have to go, I have to go. I have to go. Um. So yeah, it leaks on PC. And then there's like rumors that it's it's coming out on Xbox and lo and behold two people that work for Microsoft have all the achievements so the game is functioning on modern hardware let's keep that in mind ladies and gentlemen that the game is finished and all the achievements work so it's basically just a matter of time at this point which I am very very excited for uh, GoldenEye is probably one of the most anticipated games that I can See, I don't want to pick up those painkillers like I just did. Well, what would be the best option here? So I would very much like to, uh, see the release of GoldenEye. I think, I mean, I'm st I still play GoldenEye just about every day, if not every other day. So, statistically and mathematically, that game has lasted me for 25 years. And if they remaster it, it could theoretically okay. last another 25 years in my life, which I am totally fine with. The only thing I can think of that might be the issue with why it's not been released yet is there might be some other game Microsoft doesn't want 
Goldeneye to compete with. That's I've you know I've racked my brain as to why it's taking so long to to release, and that's the only thing I can think of is. I don't know if like Halo, if they're still like trying to ride the Halo train or not, or like what, you know, but, or the Halo Infinite train, oh Jesus, more, I didn't even know, um, let me out of here, let me, let me out of here, bro. Which I would understand. Microsoft, they're not ignorant towards how much of an influence and how important the GoldenEye release would be. But it makes sense as to why they wouldn't want to have it compete with another one of their games. I just don't know what game that may or may not be. So it's, it's just kind of like what's, what's taking so long. But I, by all means, I'm not going to rush them. I mean, as long as this thing does get released, that's really my only concern, and I, I'm able to acquire a copy of it, which I'll, if they, yeah, they made it for the, uh, the 360 about 10 or 15 years ago, but, um, all right, we'll just run as fast as you can towards the edge, dude, sounds good. Well, I didn't mean to do that. This looks interesting. Oh, okay. All right. I'm picking up what you're putting down, game. Okay. Okay. All right. I, I see what you're doing. I, I, I see what's going on here. I'm going to use the train cars. So, like, if they release it on 360 and Xbox One, um, I'd probably buy it for both, to be honest with you. I just... There's, like, there's no reason not to. And I don't think anyone in their right mind would let that game, would let that game slip away again. You know what I mean? It's just, that's just my, I, that, that's my mind of it. You know, it's taken 25 years for this thing to come out. These guys are kind of stuck behind this fence and they can't get behind me somehow. Oh man, these poor souls. It's like they can't leave this area. They are officially screwed. Take them all out one at a time. But anyway, I'm extremely pumped for it. I just hope it comes out before the world ends, or World War III gets, you know, put in full swing. I want a chance to actually play it. I, just, I don't want it to be like the last thing I do in my life, is like buy Golden Eye, get it downloaded, then the world end. I'd be a little, I'd be a little bit devastated. Yeah, you go ahead. You re you retrace those steps, man. I insist. Two more shots and two more dudes. We got him. I was able to pick this game back up relatively easily. I'm a little bit nervous about it coming back to it. Typical. Getting a call on Dude, <laughs> I almost feel bad for her. <laughs> you know, but this is kind of what they get. They were trying to kill me first. I'm just trying to defend myself. Well, kind of. Koto? Kotek? Ko I don't know. He did not make it. I'm gonna get my shotgun back. I'm gonna get my shotgun back. Jump up there and uh, get to the end of this level. 
I mean, if I don't know how much more. These levels are relatively short. Like they, they, there's they're dense. You know, like they got a lot of rooms and a lot of corridors and a lot of enemies. But there's not a whole lot of. And I probably won't be able to get this after I make this jump. So. But they're really um. They all happen in like a small area, if that makes any sense. There's like two or three main areas that the entire mission takes place in, and it's, you know, it's not a problem. Like I appreciate the density of each of these missions. I just, uh, they're not very, not very long. That's all right. Things don't need to be long. There's only a few things that need to be. Uh -oh, turn around, turn around, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Now oh, what are you doing, Cash? Cash boy, what are you doing? Freeze, punk. Just give me an excuse to wait. Please don't give me the controls back. Fucking a, we got him. Don't give me the controls back. Please don't. Please, God, don't give me the controls back. Okay, thank God. Whew. I have to get nervous. Cash, it's over. Oh, it looks like I'm getting rescued. Oh, maybe not. Well, kind of, maybe, yes. Oh, jeez. Mission down, man. We got four out of five on that one. Hell yeah. Took care of business on that one. And then go to the main menu, see how many. I think we're. I th actually, I think this is this is it. Two left, maybe. Yeah, let's just finish the game today. Let's finish Manhunt Police 1 and get through 90% of Manhunt 2 today. I don't, I don't have anything to do. Work the weekends and that's it, again. man. I love it. This is let's just make Let's Plays every single day for the next... All day, every day, make Let's Plays for the next two weeks. Oh no. Go check it out. Maybe it is your day. Shit. What the fuck is that? Support. Repeat. Oh shit. Oh jeez. Sounds like the devil. Forward our patrol. And then it just gets ominously quiet. Got some wine. Can I get some bulletitos, please? Guess not. Who needs bullets when you've got your own, like... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Jeez. I didn't even think about... How did he miss me? He walked right by me. Gun? Yes, he does. A heavy handgun. Got a deagle boy. Anything else I can use for a. I guess not. Oh, jeez. What the hell happened here? Well, this is turning into a situation. <laughs> and I think I like it. Anything for me back here, game? Anything? Oh, yes. Ah, crowbar or heavy, heavy gun? What do you think? Ah, I kind of want to use crowbar. Save, save the bullets for when I, I need them. It's like the entrance to like some giant mansion. Oh, okay. all right, all right, all right. No crowbar. No crowbar. There's no time. There's no time. There's no time. Dude, these guys are pretty good shots, I must say. Right, uh, I, I can feel death coming from 
All right. Okay, that one. You can't really blame me on that one because there's, there's no way that I could have known that there would be enemies in this game. It's just totally not fair. Okay, let's try this again. Let's pretend that we didn't just screw up. Open the door. And do this the right way. Dude, what kind of wire is that? It's got to be like serrated or something. Okay, let's see here. Let's... We corner camp our way to victory again. If we can. They just not hear that? Are you deaf? Ah, I see. Okay. Yes, the, uh... Okay, I got it. Okay, well, that... that Okay, alright. Man, they've got some eyes on them, let me tell you. They're like eagles. Okay, I'm gonna need you to get a lot closer. See you. This guy's quick. I lost him. Yeah. Yeah, that's what it is. The quickness. It's just a matter of time, Campbell. I think there's a guy to the right. I just can't see him. And if this guy comes down here and turns around, just like the other guy did, I'll do the exact same thing to him. I wonder. Bullets, 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 bullets. More bullets. All right. We are making progress. As far as I can tell, there's nobody else in my immediate vicinity, but I know there's. A, yep, yep, there's that guy. I have no idea where he's facing. It's like outside of a mansion or something. This I Spy Spooky Mansion too. Oh, well, it's like, well, technically. Oh, you actually have to shoot the log. Okay, I can, I can get behind that. Uh, I'm picking up what you're putting down, Gabe. What happened here? I'm getting <laughs> like more nervous. <laughs> uh oh. That's the whole thing. Just wait for them to turn around. That's all you have to do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you did. Is this a maze? Oh, no. Not not the maze. Anything but the maze. This is all about getting the drop on them. I guess that would be the secret. I mean, I do like the heavy gun. Don't get me wrong. This is creepy as hell. Imagine if there was like a zombie game that was like this. I can just imagine a bunch of undead dudes just like coming out of the ground right now. I gotta check. Uh, oh. Something is not working out in somebody's favor. Both? Oh, at least let me get that checkpoint. At least let me grab that checkpoint for you. 
Don't just let me just leave, 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 leave. Okay. So I hear somebody walking to the left. Oh, can they see me from here? Oh, okay. Where's the other guy? I think he's walking with him. God, there's no way. He, he didn't see me. There's no way. turns around oh there's another one oh geez okay uh, maybe this isn't the best way to go should rethink our approach oh no like well do we take the snipers or do we, do we take the uh, shotguns like well let's let's let them make the decision for us dude how in the world Not cool, not cool. But at least we got uh, assault rifles now. That's that's part of the game. Hmm. This is mm. a lot of different angles to approach this one from. It didn't help. I got ambushed. I want to have a shotgun too. Okay. All right. All right. But it made it seem like I could see these guys over here. I guess not. Yeah, I guess not. Alright. Maybe we should go try this way first. And see, that was your first mistake. Like to try this assault rifle out, please. Oh, you can shoot through the thing. Okay. The automatic though. It is. It is. Okay. Unfortunately, we're out of bullets now. Well, I'm gonna have to see what's on the inner circle here. Can't not. Hopefully it'll be a really awesome secret that no one has found ever. Ah, yes, that that is great. That is the best thing that could have been in there. Makes me feel good. Thank you, game. Appreciate it. Alrighty. Actually, I need to end the video. Thanks for watching. I don't care. Keep doing it. Catch kids in the next episode. It's a pleasure. Keep it real. Peace.